Please help a fella out. I'll take anything you got. Sent me. You know, the young looker from the fish market? Yeah, she asked me to investigate the break-in. Sorry, pal. No password, no dice. Anna would have told you that. Ah, fine. I serve the sea. There, uh... See, that wasn't so hard. I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. How can I help you? Can you tell me what happened? And don't skimp on the details. Yeah, not much to tell, sadly. It was a man, that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs, tried to steal the fishies, but I heard him. Nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay, but I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane, but I wonder. Why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, that's a bit of a puzzler. What's the deal with the, the password and such? Orders from the higher-ups. I don't get to ask why. What did he steal? Nothing. I scared him off before he could. What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. An average Joe. If not for his, uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. He was way faster than me. All right. Well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've got to go to work. Here, take the key. May the sea bless you. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing.
Ying's dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds. Fresh, still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. And there's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. <laughs> 